Infinity Photo. There's no effect brush, but what you can do, you can use another brush to apply effects to localized areas, PC or Mac, to create something like this very quickly. So with this image, Adobe Stock image, what you need to do is go up to Filters, and then down to Colors, and then go down here to Halftone. You apply the effect that you want to apply later. So Halftone, you could of course use any of the other effects as well. But Halftone, so you get now this Halftone effect. And you can modify the cell size, you can create all kinds of amazing effects with this. So once you've done that, click apply. So now go to the history panel and you can find that as all the panels in the window menu. So you've got here half tone and this could again be any effect. Then just go over here to the right side and just click here. Now you may have a different view because I've got advanced set on. So click to advance and again, it'll be this side just to confuse slightly. You can just see there, you can just click it and then you'll have it active. What you can then do is go up here, the position, and that just, little slider, just drag it. Now you might have hundreds of effects in between. You might go, you know, loads of things, half tones, blurs, all that sort of thing. But you can always just drag the slider back to the start point. What you can also do is you can go to layer and new layer. It's always great to apply the brush stroke to a layer. So now go over here to the undo brush. You can find it here. Here's the undo brush. So undo brush, just select that. With that set, you've got all the options you normally get with brushes. You've got symmetry, you've got the width, all those sort of things you can apply. I'm gonna go with 450, and I'm just gonna apply it with 8% flow, etc. I'm using a watercolor brush. You could use any of the brushes. You can find that in window brushes. There's hundreds of brushes to use. So now, simply apply this effect and you can see what happens. You can just generate this lovely halftone effect just there. And maybe you decide, you know what, let's just do it over here as well. So just drag that over there and just down there. Now if you make a mistake, just undo. And then just come back to it and go around like that. And there you have it, very quickly. But also of course what you can do, you can apply effects as well to that. That's why I put it on a layer so you don't modify the original image. So you can go to filters, maybe go to blur and Gaussian blur. And then you can see just a slight blur, 9.3, click apply. You can also go to the move tool over here, select that. And then with that selected, it's just a layer. You can reposition it anyway, move it up and down, resize it, rotate it, and much, much more, as well as apply other effects. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Bye.